Hello everyone, Golden Hawk here, creator of Ancient Powers and High Priestess of the House of Life. I'm coming on today to speak with you about changing awareness. There has been several different shifts happening at the same time for the last couple weeks actually. And it's gotten extremely intense over the last four or five days. We've had like a few hours of um, kind of like rest time. Uh, my Corpus Coliseum through here is like going, whoa, so intense in the gamma field uh, that it's not really a headache. Uh, I do understand what it is. It's because of the hurts that we're at. But um, it's not wavering or wobbling right now, and I'm also not seeing a whole bunch of holograms, which with my level of the site, the site, I, I uh, see a multitude of different fields. Hi, Nikki. Um, but what is actually happening through this is with the situation that we've had with the sun um, creating the geomagnetic storms within the earth, the iron core crystal of the earth, which has been at a fairly subconscious level for a very, very long time, um, started coming out of dormancy and um, she's waking up and a lot of people are starting to feel connections and waves coming from the earth's consciousness because she's be she's becoming she's becoming conscious uh, we've been at a theta level with her um, and delta most definitely she's coming into alpha and we are starting to receive the information that the earth is actually receiving from the solar shifts and um, I personally have been experiencing it in a great deal of very, very fast visions, extremely fast visions and like a wobbliness. And I like need to sleep when I need to sleep. And uh, being awake has been kind of like not a choice because I've been awake a massive amount, but I'm just down and out for the count when I go down. and. I have had a lot of information that's been very jumbled, but it did start moving into order in my information field yesterday. And I did a lot of work with a small group on Sunday, and we did get a great deal of information, actually. And I actually got a, a healing uh that I had gotten the first part for and had been waiting uh, we got the we got the whole thing yesterday and got the different steps and pieces for it also got the information which I've known for a very long time we don't come from a solid past and that the earth's timelines are multiple and different cultures and religious structures are coming out of different timelines and awarenesses. Right now, there's been like a split, like a, almost like a shattering awake and the visual pieces and actual holograms, uh, seeing the bubbles coming in from the creation waves with uh, a multitude of faces, a lot of different events, probable events, past stuff, present stuff, possible future. It's been super intense. It's not just basic downloading. Um, a few days ago, I did experience being uploaded from. 
and the information and structure that came out of that was what I would usually refer to as Anunnaki for lack of a better word although a lot of people use different words for it but um, an insertion into humanity's DNA after our DNA, after most of the DNA went down and uh, inserted into several different cultures uh, through diff through different timelines and there was just a streaming release and I got uh, so many different pictures I did find a bunch of them on the internet and I am working them up into uh, PowerPoint with the information that I've got and this will become available shortly I feel like I'm just being buried with stuff right now um, the information is extremely fast and furious and because of the fact that it is coming from different timelines, different probabilities, and different dimensions. Um, I'm kind of wondering how the Earth is, <laughs> is taking it. Um, it hasn't just involved, involved humanity, it's involved land masses and uh, the Green Vold awareness, which is a native piece that I got a long time ago. It also is involving animals and uh, everything, basically everything here is involved. It is a shift in the magnetic portion with, with the iron core crystal and these waves are going to continue. The awakening is going to continue. I have in talking to a couple different people and I've got another person that I'm working with who's getting a lot of very similar information and I think some of you are too um, sons of the sons and daughters of the sun but uh, a lot of very similar information and with some of the people that I've had come in here we are multi-dimensional we are not going to unplug from 3d and we are not going to unplug from 4d we're not unplugging unless we're actually ascending from this tree of life, from this helix in the universe into another one. And there aren't too many people out there that are at such a level of ascension that they've gone beyond Christ consciousness and beyond walking on water and they're just going to unplug and leave and actually that isn't an unplug it's it's a it's a movement and it's a shift in how we're interconnected and we are meant to be multi-dimensional most people are experiencing the higher dimensions inside 4d and I cannot stress this strongly enough you're in the 8d unified field uh, probably not not if you are going through a lot of loops that you're actually part of yourself that are being recreated it's like wow didn't this happen in the past and if you're looking for readings on what's going to happen in your future you're not outside of the 4d loops it takes a specific structure to structure into the free will energetic of the, our multi-dimensional whip between chaos and order and once you are out of it you become hyper aware of those who are still within it you also start noticing because it doesn't happen instantly your mind goes into like this quiet place and it's awesome and then you start hooking up with the other dimensions with for real which is very different from what pretty much anything's been being experienced up until we entered the photon belt which is what has changed this and the photon piece is the twinning piece 
So if you're not feeling that twin flame thing at the level of romance, but you feel that twinning piece going on, that's where it's coming from. Um, it might be nice if we could romance our own souls, but most people aren't too into that until they're way beyond uh, the 4D loops. We are not just attempting, but we are holding open the field of free will to get ourselves out of the loops and to bring those who have expanded inside the loops over into the area of free will. You're working with angels, they're inside the loops. You're working with gods, they're inside the loops. They just are. They're there to hold you in the loops or to bring you higher at a consciousness level so you can move into the free field. And if you're still dealing with a lot of codependence, you're inside the loops. Absolutely. And Codependence is not a trinity. It's four-quartered victim, victimizer, enabler, and rescuer. So it's squared. We are quantum field creators. We are creating the quantum fields that we are connected into. We have been create being inside this creation with what was left from our shattered world inside the 4D loops for a very long time with 2D, 3D, and 4D bodies, the astral body being 4D. Our core points existed in the field of the elementals and in the fact that we are still held in orbit with the rest of our galaxy. But our core conscious awareness was knocked unconscious in the cataclysm. And we are only now truly beginning to be able to create with the Earth's magnetic force from a conscious level, as in the last few days, those who have not purposely connected and structured into it and removed themselves from the loops, they're starting to experience the consciousness of mother the mother father it is an energetic that is interconnected deep dark very intense it's iron but it is attracting and drawing in which creates gravitational fields by the way um, the light energetic, the electro, and we're in the midst of those streams. You want to create abundance? You want to create a free life? Connect, structure, and understand that you're multidimensional. You move into the higher dimensions and you start disconnecting from the lower dimensions and basically, there's no sense in functioning. You have no structure in a unified field. You're not, you're not in AD. You're in your astral body in a unified field that's held up supposedly without structure. 
releasing things into the loops and drawing things back into the loops and just playing when where karma I really don't believe anybody here in this group wants to be dealing from that level because when I put out my little banner and said oh come be a member if you recognize it you're here because you recognize it and it's ancient very ancient pre-dynastic Egyptian with a small piece from a prophecy in it and if you saw that and you're here because you went I recognize that you're here because you are sorcerers you were called here to help humanity reconnect to source you have gifts that will allow you to truly work inside the intended structure because you've done it before you probably remember it and you also need to understand that our deep deep subconscious remembers the cataclysm remembers from the inside of the earth or from its surface or from the 4d fields around it what happened to the earth and now the earth is waking up and it's beginning to remember too so you're actually moving through earth's memory records as they're being awakened because of what we are what we have the ability to be we can choose our pasts in the now in order to create our future we can come from that portion of the teaching and the communication and the connectedness or disconnectedness of our history as a planet and as humanity as to what we want our foundation to have been there's a multitude of them out there we do have a right to choose I do understand the reprogramming we need in order to truly do it and I can get you great results with that if you want to PM me I can hook you up there's a lot of classes that are going to be coming up but I'm going to be here and I'm going to be talking to you and I'm going to be making more available as often and as soon as I can and I'm going to be speaking to this and I'm going to be speaking to you because I know within you are ancient powers Nefrika sons and daughters of the Sun